Hey guys, Derek Greg here with another oilfieldbasics.com video blog. I think all of us here in oil and gas can agree that safety is and should be our number one priority of our operations. And I think that we can all agree that we should be examining our working environment and our actions all the time and always trying to come up with ways to make it safer. And oftentimes we fail to just stop and think about what we're doing and if what we're doing can be improved or done in a more safer fashion. Renegade, however, seems to have a knack for coming up with products that make everyday processes safer. That's why we've partnered up with Renegade Wireline Services again to make this video and showcase their newest product, promised to make wireline tool handling safer on site. And we sat down with Scotty Brown to learn more about their new and exciting product. We have the ability to change the way the industry functions and um, the success of Rig Lock have only uh, helped motivate us to, to keep coming up with uh, ideas and um, uh, instances to where we can get a guy out of a dangerous situation. We don't want to eliminate any any jobs out there for sure, but if we can uh, optimize the process and make it more efficient, that's kind of our duty um, to the industry is to make sure that we can be as efficient as possible. Now Renegade calls their newest tool the gun handling system. And basically this device sits out on site with the wireline crews and handles their wireline tool string just like much like a, a catwalk would on a drilling rig and thus removing people out of hazardous situations. This is the conventional way of laying down guns. So right right now, you know, we see we've got a guy, two guys actually directly under a suspended load, which is a big no-no. Um, however, this has just been the way that uh, we've done it for a long time. And so it's kind of uh, been an exception to the rule because there was no way around it until now. So um, there's a lot of potential hazards going on here. You know, even the gun falling off stands, pinch points, lifting hazards. Uh, not to mention being under a suspended load. So uh, with the gun handler, you know, we're able to operate it remotely. And um, so we've got a guy totally out of the area, out of the hazardous zone. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple. Drop tools right into um, the cone there, uh, lay it down. So we're not exposing anybody to, to that operation anymore. Not only does the device controllably maneuver the work string from the horizontal assembly disassembly position for the ground screw to the vertical run in the well position, but it also makes that assembly and disassembly part way easier for the ground screw. Because gun handler was designed by wireline hands for wireline hands, it has a working platform strategically set at average waist height, which is approximately 42 inches. Gun handler bears the weight at a reachable working distance and makes assembly and disassembly a safer and less exhausting process. The bottom of the cone opens up so that we actually load the gun from the, the bottom and uh, stands are placed before the gun handler. Um, so we build the gun and uh, run it up through the handler as we're putting it together. Close the uh, what we call buttstock and um, from there um, you know, we're able to raise it. As you can see, there are many benefits from an HSE or a safety perspective, but the benefits go well beyond that, including many operational benefits that lower risk. And the big thing about being able to raise uh, and lower the tool string is we're not applying stresses to the cable head, so we're not fatiguing it in any way. So if we get in the position to where uh, something's going on down hole and we need to, to pull on it pretty good or we need to work the line, we're not working against um, the odds as far as having already compromised that cable head by picking it up two or three times. Um, another thing is, you know, you're running a long gun string and we've all seen uh, when you pick that gun string up, how much bow is in the, the string. So you, there you, you run into the risk of um, maybe dislodging a connection or a weak point on maybe a quick change or something like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of stress applied to the, to the entire string. There's extensions that go on the top of the gun handler. So if you're running a multiple gun string and, and you start um, overcoming the length of the, the handler, mm -hmm. there's um, 10 and 15 or 10 and five foot extensions that can go on to it to accommodate a long tool string. Now, if you're interested in utilizing the gun handler system or have further questions, please feel free to reach out to Scotty Brown 
at Renegade or also just check out uh, renegadewls.com and Scotty's information is right there. Another device that we're proud of and um, we're bringing to market now, we've got a couple of them out already. I've gotten awesome reviews from customers that are using them. Anyways, I hope you guys like the mix of videos we do here at Olfo Basics. We not only do some videos about how things work or why we do what we do, but we also make videos of new products and innovations to keep you up to date with our ever evolving industry. We, are here, we here at Olfo Basics hope that you share the same goal, which is to never stop learning. So please be sure to subscribe to our LinkedIn, our YouTube, and also our email list. And be sure to check out our Discover podcast that airs weekly on your favorite podcasting app. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching and take care.